All right, I am with Cujo, wild dog of the north. Well, apparently his name is Hank. This is a golden retriever, is that right? Golden retriever, just a little puppy, about seven weeks old, look at that dog. Now, let's see if he will eat out of this dish. You know, that's the true test. Yes, are you hungry? Always hungry. All right, here we go. All right. All right, now I need to get serious. I need to get to today's project. My son and daughter-in-law are here from California visiting and they just got a brand new puppy. And I'll show you some pictures of that, that dog. Okay, now I've had lots of dogs over the years and when I fed my dogs, I just kind of put the dog food in a bowl and said, here you go. Well, apparently you don't want a dog to eat too fast, <laughs> okay? So they purchased a slow feed dog bowl that's kind of got a spiral thing going here. Well, anyway, this dog is a big puppy and it can't get its little nose in there to get the food. So I volunteered to make one and that's today's project. And this is an old piece that I've used in demonstrations and I'm going to repurpose this. It's a nice piece of maple and it'll be perfect. So this will be the bottom and I need to take this waste block off here. So let me readjust my camera and I'll get going on this project. All right. All right, now I've got the bottom of this project completed. This is uh, a piece of wood that I was using for demonstrations and I'm repurposing it. It's got a little bit of a design on the bottom. I'll just leave that on there. I want this to be a little bit of a dish or a plate. So I've got a very wide rim out here so this doesn't tip over. And I'm gonna put uh, some of my Cutting board oil on this. Uh, this is one of my favorite products I use for uh, cutting boards in my kitchen. I'll put a couple of coats of this on and uh, I'm about ready to turn it over. I did a lot of work off camera and I, I, I think the most important part of this is going to be the, the top of it. I've got to design something. Now I have to design something that will slow that dog down when he's eaten. It's going to be a bigger dog, golden retriever. <clears throat> the bigger dogs tend to grow fast and they eat a lot of food and they want to gulp. And I just put a good liberal coat of this on here. Let's take a look here. I'm ready to reverse this. All right, I've got my project chucked up into my larger Vicmark chuck. This expands maybe five and a half, six inches. Expansion recess. I had this piece of maple on here with a waste block and it was uh, fixed on there with double stick tape. That holds very well. All right, now I'm gonna face off the front of this. Come up with some sort of a design that's gonna slow that dog down. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just face this off. Kind of see where I'm at.
Here we go. All right, now I'm going to lay out some concentric lines on this, and then I'm going to just dish these out. And I'm going to make them a little bit different, so it'll give the owners a little option as far as uh, which groove to use. Now I'm not going to make this a dish or a bowl right in the center. I'm going to leave that as a little bit of a protrusion right in the center. So I'm going to hollow this out. I think I'll lay this out with my parting tool. Now when I begin a new project for a YouTube video, I usually do a little research and find out what's out there already. I don't want to duplicate something that's uh, been done many, many times before. And I really couldn't find a slow feed dog dish uh, that was made out of wood. I found a lot of them that were plastic and you could buy from uh, Amazon or whatever. So this is kind of a fun project. It's a little bit different and I'm uh, really happy to make it for Hank. He's a, an amazing little puppy. And as I uh, am editing my video, my son Josh and his wife Jen are back in California safely with their new puppy. Can't wait to see him again. All right, now the next thing I need to do is just make sure I'm not going down too deep. I probably have another, uh, oh, three-fourths of an inch or so, or maybe even more to go down in there. All right, now I've got a little bit smaller gouge. I'm going to go down a little bit deeper in these uh, valleys here. take a look at what we have here. I like it. And I think before I complete this 100%, I may take it in there and just test on that dog. See if he likes it. Now this is a good opportunity for me to try out my latest tool. I have a Boxmaster negative rake scraper that's a little bit larger than this one. So I like that one so much I ordered another one. This is this is a half inch scraper and I also got a handle. And this is a just a really really nice size handle. That's all you need on there. This knob is a quick release knob. And uh, that's pretty handy. You can get that from uh, D-Way Tools, Boxmaster, Scraper. Anyway, now I have two. So I'm going to just uh, kind of fine tune these areas in here with this tool. Now, I literally did not do anything with this tool. I didn't sharpen it. It's straight out of the box. And those are the shavings I'm getting. That is just a lovely tool. All right, let's go to the next uh, valley here. Kind of clean that up a little bit.
All right. That is just a great tool. Now I'm going to take this in there and we'll do a little bit of uh, testing with that dog and see how how he can uh, get that food out of there. The other dish was just a little bit too sharp down here. He couldn't get the food out. Now this should be a little bit better. Well, it is time to say goodbye to Hank the Wonder Dog. Looks like my little dish is working pretty well. He's eating it down to just the last few little morsels of dog food there. We're out in my shop right now. And you can stay tuned and watch some more clips of Hank out in my backyard prancing around. Uh, it took Coco a while to get used to Hank, but uh, they're pretty good buddies now. And uh, Hank, the puppy, wants to play, but Coco's just not totally into it. Anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, Josh and Jen, thank you so much for coming out to see us for a week, and it was wonderful, and uh, anyway, until next time, I love you guys.